Yo, what's up guys? So today we're watching Game of Thrones episode nine, Battle of the Bastards. A lot of people said that this was their favorite episode because I asked, uh, what was it, an episode back or something like that? Like a season back or something. Did I really? Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. We've been getting it out on Patreon, guys. You can go join that if you want to, but we're a little behind on YouTube because we got to edit and all, but yeah. uh, a lot of people said this was their favorite episode. So don't mind the scratches, man. I ran into a young Wolverine when I was playing basketball. The young man had something to prove and he tried to swat the ball missed and somehow he 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 had some some fingernails like i ain't never seen a man with fingernails like this in my life and he scratches my neck i felt skin hit my foot and yeah it was something else and I, I was gonna record yesterday but i was like bro you scratched the dog out me and the next day is today and it, it just looks worse today it's a little more red but it's really not that bad i'm slightly caucasian so it pops you know what i'm saying maybe if it was later in the summer you guys wouldn't even notice um Maybe some lotion will help, but I don't like it that much. Are you ready to watch? Let's go. Let's go. So the two bastards, John and Ramsey. And Tommen. Maybe Tommen. I'm so I'm so I'm so slick. <laughs> Inside joke, guys. Crazy. Oh, a fireball point of view. That's pretty cool. Right. This is epic. Best war scene I've seen so far. Wow. What a chill young lady. Despite appearances, I think you'll find the cities on the rise. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> we should take shelter. Cities on the rise? Marine is strong. Commerce has returned to the market. The people are behind you. Not all the people, of course. No ruler that ever lived had the support of all the people. But the rebirth of Marine is the cause of this violence. The masters cannot let Marine succeed. Because if Marine succeeds, city without slavery, a city without masters, proves that no one needs a master. Good. Shall we begin? Do we have a plan? I will crucify the masters. I will set their <laughs> fleets to fire. Kill every last one of their soldiers and return their cities to the dirt. That is my plan. You don't approve. You once told me you knew what your father was. Did you know his plans for King's Landing when the Lannister armies were at his gates? Burn them all. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Well, he told my brother, and Jamie told me. He had caches of wildfire hidden under the Red Keep, the Guild Halls, the Scepter Baylor, all the major thoroughfares. That'd have been horrific. That's what Jamie I killed. know. This is entirely different. We're talking about destroying cities. It's not entirely different. I'd like to suggest an alternate approach. <laughs> Gosh, what is the alternate approach? Once before, I offered you peace. If you had not been so arrogant, you could have returned to your homeland with a fleet of ships. She's still got dragons, though, so she's being Instead, merciful. And she really is right now. Slavers Bay on foot, like the beggar queen you are. We are here to discuss terms of surrender, not to trade insult. The terms are simple. You and your foreign friends will abandon the Great Pyramid and the city of Marine. Dragons beneath the Great Pyramid will be slaughtered. We obviously didn't communicate clearly. <laughs> We're here to discuss your surrender. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, right? Oh, no. I imagine it's difficult. They were calling her arrogant, right? Adjusting to the new reality. Your <laughs> reign is over. Did I just see the dragons back there? My reign has just begun. <clears throat> I'm nervous. I'm not. Well, I'm nervous for them. Yeah. <laughs> Those poor men. Oh my gosh. Bad ass. That thing is scary, dude. I don't even cuss on this channel, but that's bad ass. She'll bleep it. <laughs> but he'll be like, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bad. That dolphin noise. No, I was going to turn this on like a dragon. Wait, why'd she just leave though? Because she's going to war. It's wartime. It's about to be an unsully fight right here. Dang. They said, all right, let's go. <laughs> right. They put the Jordans on. They're ready to lace them up. I'm so sick of the these Dorthraki's guys. coming. Let's go. Uh oh. They better be running. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, Dario. That man just leave his neck out like that. <laughs> Did they pause? Because they were like, wait, dragons are real? Uh, yeah, I think they're mind blowing. <laughs> It's kind of more badass that she's riding it. Like she's in the trenches. Yeah, she's got some, she's got some strength, boy, some endurance. You gotta fall <laughs> off that thing. See, we were saying they could have used those ships, but no, she <laughs> Dracarys them. She didn't care about them. Right. <laughs> 
Man, it sucks to be them. Though our queen does have a forgiving nature, this cannot be forgiven. This is about our to be queen bad. Our queen insists that one of you must die as punishment for your crimes. It always seems a bit abstract, doesn't it? Other people dying. He should die. Yes, him. <laughs> He's not one of us. He's an outsider, lowborn. He does not speak for us. All because he got mangs? Nah, they better get that main guy right there. <laughs> What, Grey Worm? That was crazy. <laughs> Tell your people what happened here. <laughs> Tell them you live by the grace of Her Majesty. Remind them what happened when Daenerys Stormborn and her dragons came to Marine. <laughs> Man, just a few minutes ago, guys, Tyrion was on trial. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Bit, yeah, like, look at yeah. him, look at him now. He just hey buddy that guy, and he's like a master. That guy right there, guy. You got touched by angel dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Tyrion was like, make sure you spread the word. Pat Pat. Tell your people what happened here. <laughs> Wouldn't Tyrion make a good mobster? It was crazy. He was a villain in Marvel and X-Men. Was he a villain? And now he's like an anti-hero. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh my gosh. Sansa's oh, staring her in hubby. there. <laughs> She's in the trenches. <laughs> my beloved wife. <laughs> Douchebag. I missed you terribly. Thank you for returning Lady Bolton safely. This mountain kneel before me. Surrender your army <laughs> proclaim me the true Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. I will yeah, pardon okay. you for deserting the Night's Watch. I will pardon these treasonous lords for betraying my house. Lies. <laughs> Look at her. Come, <laughs> you don't have the men, you don't have the horses, and you don't have Winterfell. There's no need for a battle. Get off your horse. Kneel. I'm a man of mercy. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Listen, this the old way. You against me. Bro, let's so this go. is the Battle of the Bastards right here. He said, "I so, I so." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Top of the key. I keep hearing stories about you, bastard. The way people in the north talk about you, you're the greatest swordsman who ever walked. Maybe you are that good. Maybe not. I don't know if I'd beat you, but I know that my army will beat yours. Oh, okay. I have six thousand men. You have half that. Yeah, Ramsey doesn't what care do about honor. Hi. You have the numbers. Will your men want to fight for you when they hear you wouldn't fight for them? Damn. <laughs> right? Would they? He's good. Very good. Tell me, will you let your little brother die because you're too proud to surrender? Oh, yeah. How do we know you have him? He's got a piece of him, bro. <gasps> His wolf. Oh, yeah. They already. Oh, man. Mm. If you want to save You're him. going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. Let's go, Sansa. Sleep well. Dude, that was chilling. That was crazy. Look, Sansa. she just rode off on that. She said, "Mic drop." She's a fine woman, your sister. I look forward to having her back in my bed. Ramsey one ups it with some creepy stuff. And you're all fine-looking men. My dogs are desperate to meet you. I haven't fed them for seven days. They're ravenous. <laughs> I wonder which parts they'll try first. Y'all should just ride off. Don't even listen to this. Right. We'll find out soon enough. In the morning, then, bastard. It would be fun to have in a press conference, though. Mm -hmm. Like before the fight. I like John letting him get his last word, letting him ride off with that false confidence. <laughs> I'm stressed. Well, I wonder if John's he still was is strong. He was like he's smart. back from the dead. He's strong. The walls of Winterfell and ways to sell. He said, "Meet me at the playground." The Three o'clock. Ain't that what it felt like? Houses sense weakness on his part. They'll stop fearing him. He can't have that. Fear is his power. It's his weakness too. His men don't want to fight for him. They're forced to fight for him if they feel the tide turning. It's not his men that worry me. It's his horses. I know what mounted knights can do to us. You and Stannis cut through us like piss through snow. We're digging trenches all along our flanks. They won't be able to hit us the way that Stannis hit you in a double envelopment. A pincer move. He doesn't understand. Because <laughs> they don't have that there. A flank, babe. They won't be able to hit us from the sides. <laughs> it's crucial that we let them charge at us. They've got the numbers. We need the patience. If we let him buckle our center, he'll pursue. And we'll have him surrounded on three sides. Did you really think that cunt would fight you man to man? No. <laughs> but I wanted to make him angry. I want him coming at us full tilt. We should all get some sleep. We need you sharp tomorrow. John's doing that mental warfare. McGregor Aldo. <laughs> so you've met the enemy, drawn up your battle plans. You've known him for the space of a single conversation. You and your trusted advisors, and you sit around making your plans on how to defeat a man you don't know. I lived with him. I know the way his mind works. I know how he likes to hurt people. Does it ever once occur to you that I might have some insight? You're right. I think he's going to fall into your trap. He won't. He's the one who lays traps. He's overconfident. He plays with people. He's far better at it than you. He's been doing it all his life. Hi, what have I been doing all my life? Playing with broomsticks. <laughs> I fought beyond the wall against worse than Ramsay Bolton. I've defended the wall from worse than Ramsay Bolton. You don't know him. There is no worse than Ramsay Bolton, bro. 
But he met the Night King. <laughs> what should we do? Wait, how he do went we there, get man. Back? He just needs. He's just on a mission. <laughs> we'll never get him back. Oh. Rickon is Ned Stark's true-born son, which makes him a greater threat to Ramsay than you, a bastard, or me, a girl. True. As long as he lives, Ramsay's claim to Winterfell will be contested, which means he won't live long. We can't give up on our brother. Listen to me, please. He wants you to make a mistake. Of course he does. What should I do differently? I don't know. I don't know anything about battles. Just, just don't do what he wants you to do. Oh, that's good advice. You think that's obvious? Well, it is a bit obvious. <laughs> you had asked my advice earlier. I would have told you not to attack Winterfell until we had a larger force. Or is that obvious When too? will we have a larger force? We've pleaded with every house that'll have us. The Blackfish can't help us. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. It's what we have. Oof. Battles have been won against greater odds. If Ramsay wins, I'm not going back there alive. Do you understand me? I won't ever let him touch you again. Right, that's what I'm scared of, man. I know. You, I promise. No one can protect. No one can protect anyone. Dang. She's so different than season one. Well, yeah, definitely a little darker for sure. You think there's hope? I've never seen these bold motherfuckers fight. And they've never seen the free folk fight. So, yes, there's hope. You want to avenge your king. It wasn't the Boltons defeated Stannis. Stannis himself. I love the man. He lifted me up and made me something. But he had demons in his skull whispering foul things. You saw these demons? What? Yeah, you did. No, it's a manner of speaking. Not actual demons <laughs> well, he loved that but he did see him <laughs> man's didn't have demons in his skull he didn't torture people or listen to some red witch i believed in him i thought he was the man to lead us through the long night but i was wrong just like you maybe that was our mistake believing in kings john snow's not a king no he's not i need a good drink to help me sleep the night before a fight you want some i have a jug of sour goat's milk <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Does sound delicious, but I better keep Milk's it clear. stronger than wine. Ugh. I can never sleep the night before a battle. What do you do all night? Think and walk until I'm far enough away from camp that no one can hear me shitting my guts out. Okay, on your night. I'm shitting. <laughs> Davos has been in a lot of battles. Yeah, he's a lucky man, ain't he? Mm -hmm. My lady. Uh -oh. oh no. You run at the war council. I'm not a soldier. Any advice? Don't lose. <laughs> I was gonna say win. Uh -huh. If I do. If I fall, don't bring me back. I'll have to try. I'm ordering you not to bring me back. I am not your servant, John Snow. You're in my camp. I'm the commander. I serve the Lord of Light. I do what he commands. How do you know what he commands? I interpret his signs mm -hmm. as well as I can. If the Lord didn't want me to bring you back, how did I bring you back? I have no power. Only what he gives me, and he gave me you. Why? Maybe you're only needed for this small part of his plan and nothing else. Maybe he brought you here to die again. What kind of cop would do something like that? Right. The one we've got. That would be crazy to go to war knowing that someone could bring you back if you die. But it would also sort of give you hope that you're meant for something bigger. Right. I might go in there balling. <laughs> yeah, you might. I feel like in war, everyone dies except the important characters, but I feel like I'm going to get chomped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're always in the front lines. <laughs> right. I'm going to get caught right in the dang hamstring. <gasps> What was it? It looked like that little deer. I think it burns up. Oh, it is. He doesn't know, right? Uh, he's piecing it together right now. Oh, <gasps> and that's not good because they don't need him falling apart. Because it's like wartime now. Right. Wind's blowing. Oh, wow. He's going to be. Last time we saw each other was at Winterfell, yes? You were making jokes about my height, I seem to recall. They made it. <laughs> the height of nobility. A man of your stature. Someone to look up to. It was a long time ago. It was. And how have things been going for you since then? Not so well, I gather. I didn't murder the Stark boys. I did things that were just as bad or worse. And he paid for them. Doesn't seem like it. He's still alive. It was complicated growing up at winter. We all live complicated lives, don't we? You've brought us a hundred ships from the Iron Fleet with men to sail them. Beck, do you want me to support your claim to the throne of the Iron Island? Not my claim. Hers. And what's wrong with you? I'm not fit to rule. We can agree upon that, at least. Has the Iron <laughs> Islands ever had a queen before? No more than Westeros. Oh, what can she our say? Our Euron right. turned home after a long absence. He murdered our father and took the salt throne from Yara. He would have murdered us if we'd stayed. Will their ships be enough? With the former master's fleet, possibly. Barely. There are more than a hundred ships in the Iron Fleet. There are. Then Euron is building more. He's going to offer them to you. So why shouldn't I wait for him? <laughs> the Iron Fleet isn't all he's bringing. He also wants to give you... His big cock. I think he said. Euron's offer is also an offer of marriage. And I imagine your offer is free of any marriage demands. I never demand, but I'm up for anything, really. He'll murder you as soon as you have what he wants. The Seven Kingdoms. All of them. And you don't want the Seven Kingdoms. Your ancestors defeated ours and took the Iron Islands. We ask you to give them back. And that's all. We'd like you to help us murder an uncle or two who don't think a woman's fit to rule. Reasonable. 
What if everyone starts demanding their independence? She's not demanding, she's asking. The others are free to ask as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Our fathers were evil men. All of us here. They left Dang. the world worse than they found it. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave the world better than we found it. You will support my claim as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms and respect the integrity of the Seven Kingdoms. No more reaving, roving, raiding. That's our way of life. <laughs> no more. No more. I mean, that shouldn't be too hard, right? Right. Mm -hmm. If it's an R word, don't do it. Right. Unless it's reeling in fish. <laughs> well, I was so. expecting a handshake, but yeah. At this top set fight Marine earlier, then I'm here for it. Well, these battles are always intense in this show. I know. I think the one, man, where they was just panning around everyone fighting, that one was sick, too. Mm -hmm. So Let's go, Jonathan Snow. Lead us to victory. Oh, my god! Of course, they got to come looking all they got an entrance. crazy as hell. huh? They got a little entrance right there. Right. Is people actually on it? Melisandre might go to that side if she sees that. What you got in your flame over here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a peek. Their hats, though, they, I automatically feel like they should lose for those things. I didn't even notice them, really. I was too busy looking at their arrows and their quivers and stuff. <gasps> no! Boy, there ain't no telling what's about to happen with this crazy freak. No. He's about to kill them, too. Oh, my gosh. What? Do you like games, little man? Let's play a game. Run to your brother. Oh the no. Sooner you him, the sooner you get to see him again. No. That's it. That's the game. Easy. Ready? Go. That is what he's doing too, man. No, you have to run, remember? <sighs> Those are the rules. Oh my gosh. And it's him, because you know he likes to hunt. Ramsey's doing it in front of the whole freaking army, too. Like, he just doesn't care. Oh, he's trying to get John to come up here and be vulnerable? Seems like it. Either that or he just really gets off on this because he's so confident he's going to win because of his numbers. Oh my gosh. Rickon, like, running like a crazy pattern. Hopefully, he's a shot like Catelyn's brother. The no look. Why didn't he just take a quick dive to the right or something? Like a quick one. <gasps> what? No. John was right there too, bro. Well, I hope Ramsey ends up getting skint up on that cross or on that X. Oh I should say. my God! Sansa told him. Don't. Don't what? Don't rush. My Sansa God. said, "Don't do what he wants you to do," and that's what he wants him to do. He, see, Davos is so smart. He knows John's about to just charge him anyway, so he said, "You got to prepare." Oh my gosh. Oh, that was terrible. Wow. I love Tormund, dude. He's goaded. He's I one know. of my favorite characters. He grew on me. He grew on me so hard. Hard, right? Like a barnacle. There's his worst fear. Horse men. Mm -hmm. Don't you hate how chill he's being right now? Yeah. He loses oh. the battle. Or I don't. Yeah. Or Cavalry! John! Oh. Get Longclaw out. Get him out. Hell no. What in the world? Oh, bro. John's about to what go again. What is this? Where's Melisandre at? You need her. So on, John. Oh, this man said batter up. Woo. Oh, man. So they did it the opposite way. Wow. So here we go. I hate to see all those dead horses. That was just cover on men. Stand down. That ain't good. Uh, well, maybe they'll keep shooting their own people and John will keep getting lucky. What is? Because it looks like Sir Davos is keeping his troops back. Yeah. Oh my. Yo, this, this is, is the best one right here. Bro, <laughs> look at this shot. Watch out, John. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh man! Oh. oh man! He couldn't even give off orders to him. Focus, John. Focus. Okay, I see why people think John's the best character. He's out here. He's out here really doing stuff. Now I see why this is people's favorite episode. This yeah. is wild, dude. Oh my gosh! Come on, John. That's the first time they like broke the scene up right there. It just showed John for a straight yeah, like won. just going yeah, to war. He took that thing. Oh. Uh -uh. Oh man, it's like Lord of the Rings, ain't it? Why does Ramsey have such an attitude when he says it too? That's so many dead people. Man, he's just shooting his own people with no regards, ain't he? He's just like whoever loose on anyone, honestly. He said no survivors is better than you know. No! I wonder what his kill count is. Six for thousand. Man, that looks like the freaking 
Look at them flags sticking out of that. Look at all those bodies, man. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't even talk. We may as well be checking shit, Spike here. Follow! I, why do Bump I love it. when that happens? Why do I love when the main characters want to go to war? I hate that. Why do I love that? Go. Because the music they play. <laughs> Who owns the North? Who owns the North? Me. But you see what I'm saying? I would fight for that guy. But I hate. Who is that guy? Right. Maybe it's because we ain't never been in no battles for real. Right. When you see battles, do you think how did the back row get that information? Right. Yeah. But how'd you get lucky enough to be back there? <laughs> Yes, besties. Bro, did you see that? The headless horseman? Yes. I don't want them to hurt the giant. Circle them in. It's crazy that Ramsey Bolton's people have like kind of like war tactics. It's kind of weird. Yeah, Ramsey hasn't even touched the battlefield. He's been sitting on his horse the whole time. But yeah, you're right. Oh no, 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 no. That's, I don't like that. Dang. What are you supposed to do? Bro, this ain't good. Oh, I am stressed. They're just climbing on bodies. I was about to say, this is really all you can do is just go on the yes. offense. Yes, yes. I wish we could show our like heart rate monitor up here. Oh! That was crazy. Mm. Oh, yeah, you just gotta tear it down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tony got hit. Is he no. okay? How are they gonna get out of this? I don't know. How do you? Because there's even a second layer. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Don't you like wish for the dragons or something? Like anything? You can't, you can't wish for the dragons, but you want them. Get his ass, John. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna get stomped out. What the heck? That's Car Stark, ain't it? That he's fighting? Yeah. With their signature long hair and all that. Yeah. This is stressing me out, bro. What's about to happen? Wish I could help you. I know. He just needs someone to pull him up, honestly. John, I didn't expect him to get stomped to death. He's getting smothered, bro. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, he got to the top. He's on his feet. Whoa. What a shot. Are they that pinned in? Oh, my gosh. That's how close they are to dying. Oh, that giant's doing his best. And he's the last one, too. Who? Is it going to be... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, Who's the Aaron's? House? Yeah. That's that house that just turned them down, right? No, that's where Littlefinger's at, right? The veil? Oh, and they're getting them from there. So yeah, little, little, yeah, little finger <laughs> showed up for Sansa. Because I was about to say, I know that's a sigil, but what's it called? And it's the veil, right? Yeah. Okay. So what are they gonna do with Ramsey? He's like, oh, what? Ramsey might actually have to get off his butt. Dang. <laughs> Let's go, bro. The only time you want little finger to pop up. Little finger play cleanup, huh? Yeah, because he basically started every bit of this. <laughs> the one v one that we all need. What you gonna do, Ramsey? He's baffled. He's about to be on his ass, boy. Oh, oh. Where are you he going? He turned around. <laughs> Why was that giant so slow? <laughs> he was getting it's out of like hand by John, yeah. <laughs> he's, look how hard he's running, though. <laughs> Ramsey's like, got a siege. Their army's gone. Our army's gone. We have Winterfell. All we have to do is wait. Well, they do got a giant. Right. Did you forget about that? Yeah, giants don't normally come knocking around Winterfell. Oh, man. Mike Tyson. <laughs> His chillness is so stressful. <laughs> that it, How chill he is gives me anxiety. I feel like that man's got booby trap. He broke the door. Oh, no. No, please I hate don't hurt oh, him. Oh, man. Yeah. He... <gasps> Right, how many arrows can one take? So no more giants? I don't know. I think that was the last one. It was Ramsey too, bro. Ugh. You suggested one-on-one -on -one combat, didn't you? Oh my gosh. I've reconsidered. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Cheater. What is this? John didn't turn into Captain America over here. He can do this all day. 
Oh. There we go. Yes. Does he beat him to death right here? Oh, yes. Why does it look like Ramsey likes it? Because he's a psycho, bro. This man turns on the oven and sticks his hand on it. What? Just to wake up in the morning. If I was Sansa, I'd go get me a couple of licks in for real. What is she? I wonder what she wants him to do. Nice work, Jonathan. Let's go. Bro. That was crazy. He's finally gone. The Let's star go. Banners are back. Woo! Let's go. Look at her. She's like, I knew yeah, it. Yeah, her child burning ass. She's like, hop out of here. She can go kick rocks in the snow. She's kind of shady though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but she saw it in the flames. Yeah, she did. Oh, I'm happy. I'll take the He's victory. very irritated about that. Yeah, I'm on it. That's Look, what I'm saying. I'm on the side right now. I mean, me too. I don't like that. You know, I don't know, man. At least he stayed focused for the greater good though, because he's a professional. But she brought John back, you know? I don't know what to think about anything. I don't know what to think about her either. <laughs> gonna bury my brother in the crypt next to my father that sucks man but shouldn't they burn him where is he i thought he was dead <gasps> he's tied up what if sansa flays him that's what i think she's about to do but she's not a torturer yeah though, man. you gotta have some guts remember she just puts um donkey poop in your bed hello sansa is this where i'll be staying now our time together is about to come to an end yeah now you're thinking ramsey you can't kill me I'm part of you now. Oh, now you really gotta go. Your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. Oh, them ravenous dogs. Oh, yeah, he ain't It's been them. eight days now. He ain't hey, it's been oh, eight days now. Shoot, you gotta go. Ravenous creatures. He's like, oh, they're my dogs. They love me. Yeah, okay. Bro, how did she manage to keep the dogs from attacking them until now? I don't know, but... My hands will never harm me. You haven't fed them in seven days. You said it yourself. Yeah, they don't really like they're that. They're loyal beasts. They were. Now they're starving. He's even like, be quiet, girl. It's okay. Them, them dogs said we about to have us some Ramsey noodles. <laughs> oh, that dog's scary, too. Oh, they... Stop. Oh, let's Stop. go. Stop. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. I wonder which parts they'll go for first. The jawline, Yeah, obviously. that big old mouth of yours. <clears throat> Sansa ain't even batting an eye. And he's she... tied up and everything. She's watching. Man, he got flayed the worst way, didn't he? Damn, this ain't even the season finale. I know. You know episode nine goes crazy. Look at her little smile. That's one way to get rid of a husband. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. All right, guys. That was Battle of the Bastards, man. If we can... If we can find a way to outdo that, can you just your... <laughs> if we can find a way to outdo that, man, I'd be so shocked, blown away. That went nuts, did it not? That was insane. Talk about it. What happened? To finish. What happened? It was just, a, I mean, it was the best battle of all of Game of Thrones. Basically, we started with Daenerys, though. Yeah. We so did. we started there, and basically, uh, she had words for Tyrion. Remember, she was so hot, and then Tyrion was like. Well, believe it or not, it's actually not that bad. I know it's not that bad. I mean, I mean, she also couldn't say much because she kind of left too. Yeah. So, but I mean, she had to I understand that. But, um, anyways, it seems like she's kind of getting control over there because she's kind of teaming up with the Greyjoys, which is fantastic news. Um, because her their uncle was gonna that was his plan, but they got there first, so now she's has loyalty to Theon and Yara, which is good. And then that whole battle scene happened. Which nuts, was man. Nuts. Shot beautifully. Yeah, intense. I love that continuous shot with John. They let that thing play out for at least like a minute and a half or so. Mm -hmm. Probably longer than that, man. It just, I was so sucked in. I, it was almost like all all time sort of ceased to exist in that mm -hmm. moment. That battle was awesome, right. man. That when was he was so facing good. that oncoming army and he was just standing there, just with hanging like, in there. Oh, he that like was he's about to hit his. It looked like he's about to hit his backhand on the. I know sport. he was going for it. It was intense. Yeah, that was crazy. And then right at the last minute, man, uh, it was like a game of chicken that just nobody won. Man, they both collided into each other. That was John saving Grace right there. Right. He managed. It was because Davos was smart and on it. You know, John's been in the trenches, dude. Yeah, he like, was. at this point, this man. Right. Oh, because there was that. There was a time where he was just sort of training at Winterfell. Right. You know? They were <laughs> getting just picked on yeah. and just like not getting invited to family dinners. <laughs> it's almost like all everything that happened at the wall sort of prepared him for that moment. Yes, it's he. He is one that seems like all of his experiences are affecting the bigger picture for him. Right. And then I yeah. thought it was really crazy how in the end Ramsey just decided to stay on his horse the whole time. Man, there was three individuals who didn't proceed into the war, and Ramsey was one of them. Right. And I guess like. His guardsmen or whoever the case Upper was. Upper management at its right, finest. Right, yeah. 
And John was out there literally getting stomped to death in the mud, man. I know. Breathe, he was so. <laughs> by his own men because they couldn't help it. They had to, like, close in on him. And I just thought it was so sad how the giant managed to get through the door, man. He he was so ride or die for the mission. He felt mm. like he was he was literally right at the doorstep of Winterfell. And he, he was just willing to give his life for it. And not only did he give his life for it, he gave his, line, his lineage for right. it. And, in my mind, that's, I, I really think that's the last giant. I th that's what they said, yeah, because they, remember they were brothers, the other two? The yeah. one that died at the wall? Right. So, yeah. So, that was really sad, man. And right when him and John were having their moment, of course, Ramsey shoots him in the face and not John for some because reason. Because Ramsey's so annoying. <laughs> because Ramsey's arrogant, and instead of just ending the battle, he decided to just take one more emotional shot at John, which was crazy. But you get what I'm saying? He should have yeah. just shot John. John wasn't even paying attention. But... Other than that, that's just me nitpicking, but I just really thought about that. He really yeah. should have shot John, is basically what I'm right. sort of I, coming away with now. I don't really know why he didn't, but... Because he's evil, and he just wanted to hurt his feelings. Right. He wanted to kill his little brother and, you know what I'm saying, his friend, you know, right. his... I don't know, that was crazy. That and was then, nuts that Littlefinger came in to save the day. Like, of all people to save the day, imagine it be Littlefinger. It was almost like he helped the Boltons... And then essentially betrayed the Boltons all to get in better graces in the north. Like he, yeah. he like <laughs> he advances his position like threefold because he saves the day. Like, how, like he what a loyal man! It was kind of like what man. Cersei did. She started all that foolishness just, just to yeah. like st to like fix something. She so she didn't have to get married to Loras. Basically, right, yeah. I, yeah. I think that's why. I mean, that's I'm sure one of many reasons why. But that's crazy that King's Landing wasn't involved at all in that episode. Yeah. We didn't have to give a crap about any of that nonsense. That was great, man. That really put things into perspective of what Winterfell is going to look like. So hopefully, moving forward, the Winterfell will just stay under control of the Starks. Because if it gets taken away again this late in the series, it's like... Do we really go through like a whole nother... Right, because Winterfell you know hasn't been through it. I'm really hoping Winterfell just season. stays under Stark control at this right. point. That'd be great. So, John, so who, man, that's tough, man. It's like you give it to Sansa because she's got the name, but at the same time, John kind of deserves it in a sense, right? right? So, I don't know, man. We'll have to see about that. Right. And his watch has ended, so he's not, he could go somewhere now. Well, John doesn't exactly get off on being the the leader. Right. Like, he doesn't really try to do that, you know? Right. But he gives up on, he gives up, he gets off on his oath, and his oath was the be in the night's watch, but he, his watch has ended now because right. that was his other life. Right. That was his past life. It's good to see he didn't have to sacrifice another life here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was great because I really wasn't trying to test that theory about no, coming back. No, so no. Sir Davos put the pieces together because he was at the pyre and he noticed that the little the deer, little that he deer made, was yeah. there. Yeah. And he the started to put the little Baratheon deer that he made. Oh, that was so the stag. Yeah. That was sweet. And that's going to cause a huge division because in John's mind, the Red Lady just helped him with a huge victory because well, she saw it all in the flames and, and all And the this. Red Lady's kind of like on his side because that's like his kind of, uh, and essentially she's kind of like his teammate because she brought him back to life. Like she, you kind of got to like. kind of owe her your life. Yeah, you kind of got to have her with Even you. Even though John didn't seem to see it as a favor. No, he no. He seen it as an inconvenience. Yeah, he, it kind of irritated him. Like he right. felt like his place, maybe he didn't tell us what happened when he died. So we don't know what he could have been like. You know, he could have had Winterfell and he could have been having his red haired lady on, on his side. Like he could have been living it. We don't know. Right. And then she brought him back to this craziness. Man was chilling. Um, I guess Winterfell is back under star control. That's great. Sansa doesn't have to live the worst possible version of her reality. And I guess something good finally came of the show in a sense. And Sansa finally got something good in her favor this whole series. Like I was thinking about it in the middle of that episode. She's Sansa Stark. Lannister Bolton <laughs> like yeah but even though they got they got it back like man can you imagine how different Sansa is because the the last time she was there she was just like a little girl and everything was just like remember it was very green there in a sense even though it was winter it was still like green yeah it was alive and everything was just happy mm -hmm. and the family was together and it's all destroyed at this point I mean in her mind she doesn't even know about Arya so right it, it's so different for her and it's probably bittersweet because well no Brienne she's been through hell her, in that place Brienne told her she saw Arya but that's all but she, she yeah but she yeah. doesn't really know though yeah, no, I, mean, you, I mean you could die in an instant right in the show, yeah you know? so I really hope that they get that maybe like during the war I don't know which war is gonna happen if which one's gonna come first the one on King's Landing or the war um, where the White Walkers, I mean, the Night King comes down and all that. I don't know which one comes first, but I hope Sansa has Winterfell. Yeah. I hope it's Sansa. 
And John. It's Hansa and John. Basically, Daenerys, at the end of the day, man, we need to end it with Daenerys. She came, she saw, and dude, her and her dragons, they conquered, baby. Uh -huh. They were that talking was awesome. to her. They were under the impression that she was about to negotiate the terms of her surrender. Wow, bro. That That's was so, so good on her part because I forgot about all that with all that other stuff. But the dragon riding and her just going to war, she's an in the trenches type of person. John is, Davos is. Wasn't Tyrion sort of saying, though, that we should not just use our dragons and flames and all this? Mm -hmm. Wasn't he saying we should try to, like, negotiate still? Yeah. And she was she overwrote, she, like, she overruled him in that situation and decided to go burn the fleet because the fleet, obviously because all the opposing soldiers were on the fleet. So yeah. she had to burn it. She had to, she can't send her own soldiers to go try to fight hand battles inside of the containments of a ship. That's like right. suicide uh, missions. Yeah. So in a sense, she was willing to give up her fleet. And not sacrifice her people. So I really respected that. 100%. Right. Because she could have just taken that fleet in a negotiating way and like something else could have came about it. And she could have got that to go attack Westeros. I, but she didn't. She, she did it the opposite way, which was good. Well, they made it very clear immediately. <laughs> like as soon as they came, both came to the table, both parties did. They made it extremely obvious that they were there to rub in their victory. They weren't there. They weren't there to basically negotiate in any type of way. So Daenerys right. was like, you know what, Tyrion, once again, you done screwed up, dude. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just do what I know and we'll let you have what you want. Like And he, I don't know how that's gonna work out. You know, we'll see. Cause the thing is, is like I feel like Daenerys' world is a lot more political than the other side. Yeah. Does it not feel that way? Yeah. So you guys are always hating on me because you're like, oh well, blah blah blah, because Daenerys, but it's really because that situation is just a lot stickier. Like, it's a lot more complicated. And I'm not, like, hating on Daenerys in any type of way. Like, I love her character and I love her story. Like, when she goes and she attacks all these people and all these people see her dragons destroy all these ships and stuff, my natural thought is, okay, well, how are people going to respond to that? Are people going to start to fear her? Does she come across as tyrannical? Right. Doesn't mean I dislike her in any way. I'm just... It's just, like, uh, when she comes to Westeros, is she going to be greeted or are they going to be scared? Well, that's what I'm saying yeah. because everyone sort of knows that dragons come with death and destruction right. because of, like, her family's history. Right, and it's it's not her fault. It's her family. And it her doesn't family matter. Has given this long past of like, and well, they they like to say it was incest, which made them like crazy, so to say. But like, they just have a a, a thing of fire, and they like and she to, can have every right to take her dragons and go kill these people and destroy the ships. She could be three hundred percent morally justified. But all it takes is for people to propagate it in a different type of way, and all it does is it takes just a little spin. And she's not the great liberator. She's the one who's She's got hellfire. She's bringing hell on earth. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and it's and all about perspective. Where so. she's at has kind of been testing that because just a little bit against her and they like turn on her. So yeah, like exactly. So That's kind of what I'm proving, saying. Yeah. It's kind of proving that. So it's like, it's going to be kind of weird to see how, how she's going to win over the Westeros sea people with I, like her, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard because they, they think the Targaryens are dead. They don't know. So well, like with the Boltons and then the, the, the snows and then not the snows, but with the Boltons and then the Starks. I mean, obviously, like it can get a little gray, but that's pretty black and white. I mean, right. Ramsey's terrible. Yeah. And all I'm saying is, well, it's pretty black and white over there, too, actually. It's just even if Daenerys does the right thing, doing the right thing doesn't always yield the best fruit necessarily. And so that's why her story is so interesting because it is so complicated. Right. In a way. So I'm well, really interested to, to see how that plays out with different like I see it, though, because she's having to like rule over different customs that she's not used to at all. It's a whole different world in Essos. Right. I mean, if everything she did was for the greater <laughs> good and it was for a beautiful reason, all it takes is for a couple of people at a market one day to be like, oh, don't disrespect the queen. Right. She'll burn your damn house down. She'll grill you up. And then boom, just like that, everyone's got this narrative that you're the great bringer of death and fire. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just one of those things, man. That's all. It's really interesting to me. I think that side of the story is super interesting. I know. I really and like it. it's cool that they separate them like, like they separate them like she was having a battle at the beginning of this one. And then they're having a battle. Uh, it was it was nuts. One of the if, best if you episodes. Think of, if you think about it, maybe the dragons are even bastards. Hey, hey, maybe they because they ain't got no daddy. What, right. Where are they at? <laughs> right. Um. Man, I don't even know what else to say. That was a great episode, guys. That had me on the edge of my seat. Every so often in TV, you're just freaking enamored, dude. And that was it. Was that it was not? one of them. That was awesome. That was one of them. And I can see why you guys said it's one of your favorite episodes and why everyone's excited for us to see nine and ten. But and what's now, crazy, that's not even the finale. Right. We got so one more now, to go. So now, like, what's 10 going to be like? I don't know. You know what? We're going to record it tomorrow. We're going to take a day off. We're going to let this one sit for a day. It almost looks like times are changing, man. It looks like this was a turning point in the story. I feel like the next episode will be a bigger turning point in the story. And I feel like the show is about to go crazy because we're yeah, getting towards so the end good. of it. So. Season six for me, so far, 
has been better than season four, which was my favorite episode so far. So season six, season four, then, you know, do I don't it. know that I can't, I can't even say my favorite episode, man. It's so hard. I don't really have favorite episodes. It's more about favorite moments. Right. I mean, there's I'm been saying a couple seasons. Moments. I just have certain seasons that upon editing, I'm like really getting into. Season right, six right, right. is one of them. And season four is my other one. Season yeah. five was good. Don't get me wrong, but. These two have just been so like, oh, it's like so like the whole time you're on your toes. Well, I feel like I'm so invested in these characters yeah. at this point. I've known them for so long. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to see Jamie in that one, which no, freaking no, no Lannisters. Yeah, no, no, no Tyrells, no Dornians. Yeah, we need to get back into it. I don't like not seeing my boy James, James Jones, <laughs> my one handed James. All right, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon, comment. I'm doing my outro thing a little early. <laughs> uh, let us know, man. Was this one of the greatest battle scenes in cinema history? Like, we're taking it all the way, guys. Like, yeah, I'm we're not even saying, considering Lord of the Rings. Like, I'm the talking battle. Save yeah. It Private Ryan, Lord of the Rings, not to cut you off. Go ahead. Right. Well, right. What, what other battle do we know? Hey. Uh, oh, Endgame. <laughs> yeah, that's a battle. You know that was what I'm a saying? good battle. Hey, oh, it's the captain. <laughs> um, yeah, man, that was freaking good. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm speechless. That was an incredible, powerful episode. I'm so glad the tyrant Ramsey. Finally met Justice, was eaten by his own dog. And what man. a cold Crazy. way to go out. He said, they're loyal to me, they're loyal beast. Not when yeah, you, you ain't fed them in seven days, days bro. Like, jeez. Crazy, guys. See you on the next one.